Hey everybody, welcome back to With The Face, glad you're here. And uh, just last week, uh, in my email, I started getting these, uh, these purchases that came over and they were from the fine company and uh, apparently they purchased for me to do a review on one of their products and uh, it's Latigo which means whip in Spanish so um, I'm going to here's the box I'm going to uh, do a review on this and let's just open the box for a second and see what we have and you know I noticed when when uh, when fine changed their bottle to the flask type uh, there were a lot of other artisans um, that changed their bottles too I think uh, I think he definitely started a trend and uh, I mean come on the bottle is beautiful too and uh, you know he's got um, Oh man, I love that. It's got a, like a peppery and then a sweet side to it. I'll put the notes right down in this, right down there, if I can find them. I think he does supply the notes on the website, but I'm not sure. So if they are there, they'll be right there as well. And um, so we'll use this for the, uh, for the aftershave that we're going to be demoing. And for the soap, I thought I would take out this. I don't know if anybody has ever seen this box before, but this was the box that um, that they that that they gave with uh, the Scottish Fine shaving soaps. Now, recently, they don't make shaving soaps anymore, and you can't. I don't think you can find this anymore. If you can. Uh, it, it's really a fantastic shaving soap and it's got this like it's kind of like worn a little bit mine anyway but this is how it's presented and let me just and I actually did a um, a review on this and it was an early very early review so you have to go pretty far back a couple of years maybe four years five years to see this and I really I don't appear in the video at all it was when I was first starting out, I didn't want to get in front of the camera. But uh, let me take this out of the box, and then uh, you can see uh, Scottish Fine Shaving Soaps Classic. Right there, you can see. And uh, this is the puck that's inside. And I used it a couple of times. It's got a lovely, sweet, uh, just a beautiful scent. I really wish they would continue it. But what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do put some bloom, I'll put some warm water in here, bloom it, and then uh, do the lather that way. So uh, so we have the yin and the yang here. We have the Scottish Fine Soap here, and then we have the whip right here. <laughs> so uh, let's uh, let's do the shave and uh, we'll talk about the results. Stay tuned. Okay, so this has been blooming for about uh, three to four minutes. So let me just dump that out. This is the brush we're going to be using. It's the wet the face brush. Here's the, um, the razor we're going to be using. It's an Occam's Razor Nano. And let me just, uh, let me just make this um, brush a little wet here and waiting for the, the warm water to come up and there it is right there uh, no need to put water in here um, I'm going to start doing the lathering so here we go I'm going to put the razor on the side and now I'm going to load the brush Just want to make sure I have a good amount here. 
doing a face lather. So here we are, the brush is loaded and uh, let me bring this to the face and do the rest of the shave. Okay, so I have about uh, five to six days gross, so let me wet the face. Here's the brush with which I use to load lather with and uh, let's apply it. I really don't know why uh, fine Scottish shaving soap company stop making shaving soap in itself. They make bar soap now, you know, like manly scents. But I guess they, I guess it never, I guess it, it, you know, sales were down. I mean, that's the only reason why you discontinue something, right? You don't discontinue something if it's selling like hotcakes. They had that product for a long time. All right. So here you go. And here is the razor right here. And I'll just wet a little bit and uh, let's do the shave, so. Been watching a lot of Netflix lately. I saw God so many movies. But I've been catching up on uh, on TV series. And I I once saw this TV series uh, it was from a TV show it was from Canada. It was called uh, it was it was a nice it was really a nice show, and it was called Anne with an E, and I got hooked on it. <laughs> I don't know. I really did. I got hooked on it, and uh, I watched the I watched the whole thing, and uh, it was quite interesting. She was an adoptive adopted child, and uh, just the trials and tribulations of her going through life. A brother and sister adopted her that lived on a farm and man she was like a wordsmith holy shit she could she could read something and retain it forever any word that she ever read in any book she could just bring it forth you know she was probably if they had tests of high IQ back in like 1908, she would test extremely high. She was something else. And then I was watching The Good Place. I'm almost done catching up with all the episodes of that. I, I usually, I tend to watch like two maybe three or four years or something, and then something happens, and then I catch up. Now I'm catching up. And the reason why I have, normally I don't, I don't have Netflix, but every once in a while, I try, I try my login password and it and for a free like month and it says oh no you were previously 
a member, so we're not going to give it to you. But this time, it allowed me to. And I'm watching everything in ultra high for free right now. So it's pretty cool. I'm also catching up on New Girl because I, I watch almost all the episodes of that every year. And then I think I, I dropped off like uh, around four or five, six season. I think it goes all the way to seven. And they're pretty funny. I, I think I, I, I really dig the comedy style of those guys. So I thought it was really good. All right. Well, that's really nice shape right there. Now I, I think I know why the, uh, the soap was uh, discontinued. Because um, I did notice, I don't know if you guys caught it, but I did notice the soap was disappearing. In fact, uh, you know, I always show like the, um, the brush and uh, how much soap is left on. And as you can see, it's all faded. So I think, I think instead of like improving the formula, they just, they just forgot it. They just said, oh, it may not be selling. So why are we going into this kind of deal? And there's a lot of competition out there now. So most likely those decisions just uh, ended ended that whole entire thing but man for $35 you got you got some um, something in the in, in return uh, you know that beautiful packaging the the um, the ceramic bowl it was you know $35 it's like it's unheard of so enough with that let's go to this and let's open it up the whip <laughs> and uh, let's let's put it on. <laughs> I, I know it's gonna sting. Here we go. Oh, oh, it's nice though. Oh, alcohol-based shaving soap sting. But this is nice. Ah. <sighs> And you know, I think it has menthol on it because I could feel it. That is very refreshing. That is refreshing. Wow. Good stuff. Really good stuff. Whew. So there you have it. Oh. <laughs> so I had a great shave and I used a great aftershave. And I hope you have a great shave. See you next week. Bye-bye.